Hello everyone. Today, we will learn about the design and interpretation of subgrade structural drawings. First, please consider the differences between these four types of subgrade shown in the figure. Let's take a look at the picture on the left. This is a newly constructed subgrade, and this is the original ground level. The fill above the original ground level is called an embankment. The picture on the right is a reality image. On the left, this part is the newly constructed subgrade. The dotted line represents the original ground level, and the excavation below the original ground level is called a cutting. The picture on the right is a reality image. The picture on the left shows a cross section where there is both fill and excavation. This type of subgrade is called a half-fill, half-cut subgrade. The picture on the right is a reality image. A zero-fill, zero-cut subgrade refers to when the ground is flat and the design elevation of the route is equal to the ground elevation. Almost no fill or cut for the subgrade occurs, forming a no-fill, no-cut subgrade. A typical example in China is the Teklamakan Desert Highway, which uses the strong base, thin surface method. It wraps the sand with simple geotextiles and compacts it with vibration to serve as the subgrade. To withstand the sand, large swaths of windbreak and sand-fixing forests have been planted along the highway. After the highway was completed, the state invested another 100 million Chinese yuan to plant 130 acres of populous Euphratica forest at the edge of the project. Currently, the Taklamakan Desert is turning green, which effectively practices the construction concept that lucid waters and lush mountains are invaluable assets. Think about whether the subgrade is a single layer structure. Clearly, it is constructed in layers. Now, let's look at the different layers of the subgrade. From the cross-sectional view of the road, it can be seen that the road is divided into two major parts, the pavement and the subgrade. The subgrade can be divided into the roadbed and the embankment. The roadbed includes the upper roadbed and lower roadbed, while the embankment includes the upper and lower embankments. The part of the subgrade below the pavement bottom by 30 centimeters is the upper roadbed. The thickness of the lower roadbed varies with traffic volume. For light, medium, and heavy traffic highways, the lower roadbed thickness is 50 centimeters. For very heavy and extremely heavy traffic highways, the thickness needs to increase to 90 centimeters. Therefore, the total thickness of the roadbed can vary based on different traffic volumes. It can be 30 centimeters plus 50 centimeters equals 80 centimeters, or it can be 30 centimeters plus 90 centimeters equals 1.2 meters. The filled part below the roadbed is the embankment. The embankment is also divided into upper and lower embankments with the upper embankment having a fixed thickness of 70 centimeters. The fill subgrade below the upper embankment is the lower embankment. Subgrade engineering has the following characteristics. First, subgrade engineering involves a wide range of projects. It not only includes the construction of general subgrade, but also involves special subgrade drainage engineering, and protection construction. The construction conditions are complex and variable, with diverse construction methods facing extremely complex technical and management issues. Secondly, subgrade engineering has a huge environmental impact. The construction process of subgrade engineering inevitably causes certain damage to the surrounding environment of the construction area, which may lead to vegetation destruction, environmental degradation, 
and increased soil erosion. President Xi Jinping's theory that lucid waters and lush mountains are invaluable assets has significant guidance for enhancing the environmental awareness of engineering practitioners. It urges practitioners to improve their professional standards, humanize, standardize, and refine throughout the project's lifestyle, minimizing negative environmental impacts. Finally, the quality of the subgrade greatly affects the construction quality of the road and the service life of the pavement. Practice has proven that the stability of the subgrade has a significant impact on the quality of pavement engineering and relates to whether the highway can be put into normal use. That's all for today's class. Thank you.